Oh, it's streaming. Hey, good morning. What's up, guys? I uh, just had to put in the microphone so you can hear me talk. And we're getting ready to work on the uh, brakes for our car. Now, they have the drum brakes, okay, for uh, this um, model. Now the car is back in the the drum brakes um, were very typical for these type of vehicles, but we're going to use disc brakes, and I'll go ahead and show you a few of the images that we're going to. Let's turn this off. My computer's slowing down. The image that we're going to use for the brakes, uh, let's see here, okay, body, rims, new blueprints, okay, those are the rims, these are disc brakes, okay. So these are a few images I have. The other images can't be seen on this particular in this particular image. So let me create another folder. Uh, let's go ahead and minimize that. Let's close this. Go to file view, import image. And let's go ahead and do this. Grab some images off of my flash drive. Let's wait for it to pop up. Here we go. 69 charger, source images, brakes. Okay. This will be a few images that we'll use as a, as a reference. So this is what's known as a, a disc caliper. Okay, the little red part that holds everything together. That actually stops the, the car, it slows it down. All right, let's go to the... I should be pulling those images directly from the desktop, so let's copy this. Brakes, copy, and let's go to my desktop. Okay. So now when I reference it, these images, brakes. So we have that one. This is just another angle, another image. and put in a few more. So all these reference images will be on image plane so that it will make your life and my life easier uh, when referencing them. Do image plane, import image. So this is just a reference for the, the uh, I know it's a caliper and that would be the, the brake itself. You guys know more than I do uh, when it comes to cars and, and the parts of the car, then please leave a comment and let me know. Like, hey, Mr. Dawson, you were wrong. It's not called you know, what you just said. I know this is called a caliper, and you can see that these two are completely different. So I'm going to use some things for a reference. I really like.
like this image. Okay, and I think we just have one more. That's just looking at the caliper from underneath. make our selection at this last one so judging on let's see like the technical aspects of it this one seems to have fewer parts this is it from the side view it's from as close as we can get this particular image doesn't really serve us any justice so let's delete that that is this one here and I don't know what the back of this looks like it's very difficult um, very basic very standard and then you can see this one has like ventilation Okay, rotors, yes, caliper and rotors. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete these guys. And for the sake of time, I don't think that we'll be using the drilled rotors. This one will do, and scale this guy up, so it will help us. And maybe we'll use this later, so I'll just hide it, control H. Okay. All right, so let's um, go ahead and zoom in for you guys. We'll take a few screenshots. Let's bring this one up here. Press F. Okay. And then, last but not least. Okay, so now I want to create a polygon cylinder. Hold shift, press W, and I'll hold V to snap it right in the center of my geometry. We'll hold V and bring it right there in the center. Just kind of drag it all the way over like this. <clears throat> Looks like I need to bring this rim over. It will. We'll worry about that in a second. Okay. So this is the a reference for where I want to begin placing uh, the caliper so we're going to use this image here for our caliper and our rim has uh, five, five uh, stars this one is a little bit different this has one, two, three, four, with a few extras, so we can always change that up. Okay. So it's pretty much a, a cylinder. Okay. And I actually want to use a BP curve to create this shape. 
So let's go to EP Curve Tool, Option Box, One Linear, and I'll start right here. I'll hold Shift, go across, hold Shift, and go down right there. Go across. I'll go down just a little bit, which is going to represent that edge. And it looks like it goes back. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that part of it. Now, I do want to do a little bit of research to find out um, the back of Caliper. I think that's how you spell it. <clears throat> back of... Um, So, sorry, I wish I, I had done this research before. And there are a few images I am like passing by. However, I just found looking for something where I could see the back of it. Uh, real question is, are we going to see it? Oh, see, look at it. Visit this page. Okay. Where'd that image go? Let's click on this. Actually, it's right mouse click. Save image as. <coughs> Save it to my desktop. Wait. Run this. Save. And okay, so it goes back, goes up, and then it meets it. Let's go back into Maya. So it goes back here, goes up, goes about there, and then I'll hold C snap it there perfect All right. so this is my shape I'm gonna modify center pivot and there we go right mouse click and hold go to control vertex I'll press R snap these guys together press W move this back object mode and okay so that's that shape go ahead and screenshot that give me one second So, what I want to do is bring this guy down here to a tire and I'll bring it forward so I can see it in front of this shape. I'll press R to scale it down. And I know that this top of this surface, this top of this line, okay, will 
is uh, exactly where the holes are going to go. Okay. So let's press F to frame in. I'll move this guy right about here. I'll scale it down. Scale down a little bit more. And I think that's just about right. So now I'll just press Control 1 to isolate it. I'll hold D. And move it up here. I'll press E, hold J. Do that. Press W, Control 1. And let's go back to control one. I want to hold C, hold D and C, and snap this guy to the curve. So hold D, C. Um, it might be easier to do this in our perspective. So I'll press control one, hold D, hold C, and there we go. Okay, so the purpose of doing that is so that we can hold V and snap it right to the line. Oops. There we go. Now I'll hold D and V, snap this guy right in the center, and there's our, our shape. Okay. <clears throat> what we're going to do now is do a revolve around the x-axis so we go to surfaces revolve option box we want it to be the x-axis we want it to be a polygon we want it to be quads um, per span number of isoparms on the u and v type for the uh, tessellation controls and then the number of u values will be two and two and we'll click apply okay Let's go to Mesh Display Reverse. So what we have to do now is actually cut out the star shape. Okay, can you turn on the x-ray? And all we need are four vertices, I'm sorry, four faces to create a, a circular shape. So what we'll do in our front view, I'll press four. I'm just going to delete all of these faces. All these faces and keep keep these ones. Okay. Let's go back to modify center pivot. I'll hold D and hold V and snap this guy right there. Okay. So if we press Control D and then Go into our channel box editor, change the rotate x to a value of negative 72. That's what we'll get. Okay, and then you can see that we'll probably have to bridge the gap in between. If um, I hold shift and press D, you can see that that shape goes right along there. So this shouldn't be very time consuming at all. Okay. Okay. So I just want to make sure that these, oh, you know, it's since it is behind the shape. 
I'm making this weird face right now because we're not really going to see it. We're not going to see those, those holes um, behind this object. So I'm not going to spend the time. <laughs> I, I apologize, guys. I'm not going to spend the time putting the holes behind it because it will be sitting behind the, the rim. Okay. Um, very straightforward. Uh, we'll go to surfaces. We'll go to the Revolve option box. And this time I'll increase the value to 3 and click Revolve. And we'll go to Mesh Display, Reverse. Um, there's that shape. Now, what we can do, okay, so I'll take some of the pre existing lines on here, double click, and move them forward. What this is going to do is give me a, a sharper edge. Press R. Kind of scale them wide, wider like that. Okay, I'll double click here, there. So I know based on the image, you guys can see it's got this bevel here, and then it's got this bevel. Okay. So let's go to uh, Mesh Tools or Edit Mesh. Bevel and I honestly think that this bevel down here is different than the other one. So let's go to segment. I have two segments, press three, and then this one double click this edge. I'll press G, which is repeat previous command, change the fraction. down a little bit I like it at point two and it didn't really look to be that okay it is round it looked a little harder edge for me at one one point in time if I press T it'll take me back to settings and I'll change that to three and the inside edge here Let's just double click here. If you have those type of um, edges, I'll take this edge here. I'll hold shift, right mouse click and hold, and slide edge tool, middle mouse button, bring it in closer. Press three on it. Okay. So it takes care of that. I'll delete that curve. And of course, when we do that, some bad things happen. Um, let's just go ahead and go to edit, delete by type history, and we can delete the curve. Click this object. Let's go to modify center pivot. we can begin to move this guy over. Now, one thing I did see uh, was that the wheels are a little bit like off, like they're, the front rim is not aligned with the center of that one. So I'll press the up arrow, modify center pivot. I'll press four, kind of see it in wireframe. And there's the there's the center of the other tire right there. Okay. And that means I'll have to go ahead and select this one. Delete that. Go back to my front view. Some really nice meaty tires. D and V snap this guy right there in the center. Control D. Channel box editor. Scale X negative one. 
close that. And now we can place this over here. Okay. We'll place it right about here. Take this edge, move it back here, and snap it there. Bevel this. Add a segment. And then let's put this guy right behind there. Make sure it's not intersecting. Okay. Control one, bring everything back. All right. And then. Next thing that we have to do is add the the caliper. So I'll go ahead and stop this right now. I want to um, bring up a few other images um, that's going to show us how to begin modeling this. I want to draw a few lines on there without uh, burdening you guys um, with watching me with that process. So let me go ahead and stop this, and then I'll see you guys. Um, in a few in a few seconds. Mm -hmm. 